It was less than two weeks ago when I did my last update video for Majisk, but the developer, John Wu, has just released a new update, and it comes with some important bug fixes for supported and unsupported devices. Now personally, I didn't notice any glaring bugs with the update to version 25 of Majisk, but there were a few things that needed to be fixed quickly so a new update has been released. Firstly, we can see in the official change log that a fix was needed due to the RAM disk backup process being incorrectly skipped. There was also a fix introduced to correct both recovery mode detection as well as installation. And in that last video, we spoke about the load of work being done to Magisk INIT and a fix for exporting its configuration in legacy SAR devices, aka system as root devices, was added to version 25.1 of Magisk. This new update makes the Magisk app always match or be newer than the Magisk D, aka Magisk Daemon, and it changed the binary hijack paths. Not only that, but the update also added a new feature to detect unsupported DTB, aka device tree blob, and abort the installation if an unsupported one is detected. So just like before, we're going to update Majisk by opening up the Majisk application. And you should see a blue update button next to the app section. We're going to tap that and then we're going to tap on install. If you have not granted Majisk the ability to install applications, then you're going to see that permission prompt right there. But once the application has been updated, we can open it up and we can see the blue update button has been removed from the app section since it is now up to date. However, now that update button has moved to the binary section and that's because we need to update Majisk, the actual binary that gives us root access. So we're going to tap on update and we're going to choose the direct install option. We're going to tap let's go and now the Magisk application is going to install the Magisk binary onto our device. Assuming everything was done successfully and there are not any errors, we're going to get this blue reboot button right here and we're going to tap it to force the device to restart. Similarly to how we need to restart the phone in order to apply or activate a new Magisk module, we also need to update the, or restart the phone whenever we update Magisk. And once the hat phone has been updated, we can go back into the Magisk application just to check and make sure that we do not have any more update buttons for the application or the binary. And right here at the top, we can see which version of Magisk is currently installed. As long as you see 25.1 right there, then that means you are completely up to date with Majisk as of right now.